Chapel. It's Julie. What about Julie? She's eloped with a stranger she met in Sacramento and she left this. My poor little girl, wheedled by a wicked man. Oh, don't worry about it, Abby. There are only two places she could go, the parsonage or the justice of the peace. Jimmy, you cut across and guard Sierra Highway. All right, Hoppy. And don't you say a word to Buck about it. Not one word, Hoppy. Buck! Buck! Where are oh, you? Stop ball like an old bull with air pizzuti. Will you cover the local parsonage? And if you can't keep her quiet any other way, take her with you. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, Let's go. I won't. Come on, let Are you trying to kidnap me? Kidnap? At your age? And miss what's going on at the parsonage? I should say I won't. Help me up. Well, would you make up your mind about Get out. you two. Are we too late? We got here as soon as we could. My goodness, love is always in a hurry. Well, if you want me to, I'll cut the ceremony short. No, no, this wedding can't go on. No, 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 California, now you must miss. Marriage is a wonderful institution, you know. But she don't know what she's doing. She'll regret it all her life. No, 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 she not if it's true love. Marriage, California, is a 50-50 proposition. And the bride-to-be seems a sensible woman. But she's so impetuous. California's right. It will never work. Oh, yes, it will. California, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. I, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. We're here to stop a wedding, not to perpetrate one. Uh, go on with the ceremony, Parson. Yes. California, do you take this woman? You take her. Poppy! California! Poppy! Come right Poppy. back here this minute! Come in. Well, looks like I'm a little late. Hello, Hoppy. This is my husband, Ben Jordan. How do you do? Julie's told me a lot about you, Mr. Casty. Well, I hope it hasn't been too bad. It hasn't. <laughs> She's pretty high-spirited, but you look like you could handle her all right. I think I can. Son, here's your marriage certificate. All signed and sealed. Thank you, sir. You take good care of that now, darling. You bet I will. <laughs> Julie, I wish you'd said something to your father about this. He's no... There's something you should know. Something I, I, I couldn't tell Dad. We need help, Hoppy. Need it desperately. You see, when I met... I didn't even know the young fella. I was just, 
just trying to keep him from... <coughs> in there. What happened to that satchel Ben had? found these posted on our land, Mr. Kiefer. What do they mean? Well, Ben Jordan told me that you squatters were to be evicted from the property. Well, we ain't squatters. Can you show title? You know we can't. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to move on, then. That's a legal notice. Well, when's Ben get back from Sacramento? Well, that's hard to say. But those are his orders, and I'm only his agent. If Ben Jordan did this, killing would be too good for him. That's loose talk. If anything happened to Ben Jordan, you boys would be held responsible. You better take it easy. Can't they make trouble under squatters rights? Yes, but they're too dumb to know that. I wish you hadn't come here this time, Mr. Fenwick. If I'm connected up with that railroad business, it might make some ugly talk later on. Well, I just made this trip to let you know Ben Jordan borrowed the money to pay his back taxes. Yes, I advised him to do that. You did? How'll that affect our deal? Jordan will never get here with the money. Oh, is that why Taggart and Slade were trailing Jordan in Sacramento? They're expensive, but dependable. Look here. That is the finest block of virgin timber in the Sierras. Jordan was foolish not to start cutting that long ago. Now, you simply appear at the sale for delinquent taxes and bid it in at our price. What about the heirs? Ben us to the Jordans, so there'll be no heirs. Well, I don't know, Buck. There doesn't seem to be any way out of it. 
You see, Julie's marriage has brought her responsibilities. Seems like the only thing she can do is to go to Pine Rock. Yeah, it begins to look that way, Hoppy. There's a bigger reason, Dad. I've asked Hoppy to find the men responsible for Ben's death. Buck, were you close enough to the killer to recognize him? Yes, definitely. Buckboard's waiting, Hoppy. All right. Coming out with us? Yes. There. No. No. Put these over there and put this in the middle. You mean that there and these where that were? Doggone it, Abby. That's just where I had them. Don't argue. What in thunder's in them anyhow? Cloaks, bonnets, and whatnot. Whatnots? What's whatnots? Unmentionables. Change the subject. Oh, I changed mine Saturday nights. <laughs> More of them. This is all. Shay, where do you think you're going? Europe? I'm going along to protect Julie from those lumberjakes. Lumberjacks. Jakes or jacks. I'll put them in their place. I hope the trip won't be too bumpy. No, why, that road's as smooth as a woman's cheek. And some women have some cheek. <laughs> Now, Buck, I'm sorry you're not well enough to go with us. But according to that tax bill, we have to be in Pine Rock by the 1st of June. I know it. Good luck, Hoppy. Thanks. Bye-bye, Dad. Goodbye, Julie. Take care of yourself. Jordan taken care of? Yeah. What about Slade? He met up with an accident. Well, that's too bad. I got a lot worse news for you than that. Jordan was married just before he was killed. Then there's an heir? Yeah, and a mighty pretty one, too. She's on her way here now to see you, only a few miles behind me. Why didn't you get here before? The horse went lame and Donner passed, and I had to rustle another one. The contracts for the railroad are signed and delivered. The tax sale starts in an hour. The Jordan woman must be stopped from getting here. There ain't time, and it ain't safe. She's got three smoke-eating cowpokes with her. One of them's named Cassidy. He's responsible for Slade pushing up poppies. Well, then our whole deal's upset. We might as well tear up the contracts. Oh, I don't know. Miss Jordan and her cowpokes don't know this mountain country. Could be that they'd miss the road. Get here too late. Dear old California, home of my childhood days. Dear old Ow! California. But you said these California roads didn't have any bumps. Well, you know California soil. You plant one bump and a whole lot of them come up. Ow! 
I feel for Yabby. Never mind. Just go on with your driving. You know, when I was a little shaver, I used to climb trees around here. For the rest of the squirrels? No, just for myself. Get up. Where are you going, California? This is the road to Pine Rock. Oh, this is it, Hoppy. Well, you're wrong. Look at these signs. Doggone. That sign must have been switched. So are you switched. Abby, California knows this country. Yes, first he says the roads to California are smooth as a woman's cheek. Now he says the signs are switched. I put up that sign myself 20 years ago with my own bare hands. Why, I wouldn't forget this place in a million years. Right here, I used to meet my little Minnie. Jog. Look what's up there. Little Minnie. What a gal. What eyes. What a nose. What a tooth. Her teeth. I'd have married her if it hadn't been for one thing. Yeah, what was that? She said no. <laughs> Come on, we haven't time to waste. California's right. These signs have been switched. See? I'm always right. Oh, yeah. Well, most always. Get up. Do I hear the 5,050 on this choice bit of land? 5,000 I've got. 5,000 in hands, who'll make it 50? 5,000 I've got, do I hear the 50? 50. 5,050. Do I hear the 75? 5,050, do I hear 75? 575 I've got. Do I hear the 6,000? 575 I've got. Do I hear 6,000? Going at 575 once. 575 twice. Are you all done? Third and last call. Sold. 575. The next and last parcel is the best virgin timber in the Sierras. Minimum bid on this must equal the taxes due. Said sum being $11,204. Do I hear it? Eleven thousand and five. Eleven thousand and five. I've got six. Eleven six. Do I hear the seven? Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. I've got. Do I hear the twelve thousand five? Do I hear the twelve thousand and three? Do I hear the twelve thousand and three? Gentlemen, gentlemen, even at thirteen thousand, it's a giveaway. Why, the Jordan timber alone is worth five times that much. Twelve thousand. I'm bid. Are you all done? Knock it down. 12,000 once, 12,000 twice, 12,000. You can't sell that land. Why not? Mrs. Jordan is here to pay the taxes. It's too late. I think not. None of this ain't legal. What does that say? Section 11. A property owner has rights of redemption to period of actual sale by paying taxes. Costs and interest at 8%. I never knew that. Maybe you'd better read up on the statute you're supposed to enforce. Here's the money. He's the collector. Who are you pushing? Well, I'm just trying to get through, that's all. You know, you ain't so big. Uh, uh, now, wait a minute. Uh, doggone it, Big Joe Williams. Chow! <laughs> Why, I ain't seen you since the old Grass Valley days. Well, where you been all these years? Straddling horses for the Bar 20 outfit. Come on over and say hello to the missus. Old Sue? Doug, what do you know? Say, uh, whatever became of my old gal, little Minnie? Well, she's right over there with the wife. She is. Say, will she be tickled to see you? Well, well. Well. <laughs> you appear to be a sensible young woman. Put a reasonable price on your land and I'll buy it. Mrs. Jordan isn't selling property. She hasn't had appraised. I think it'll be greatly to your advantage to hear my proposition. Use my office, Mr. Fenwick. Thank you, Lee. There's no harm in listening, Hoppy. You wait and get the receipt. You remember Cal? Well, sure, hello, California. Well, Bush McGallis, is soon glad to see you. <laughs> Still as pretty as ever. <laughs> see, uh, where's little Minnie? There she is, Cal. Can't see her on account of that fat woman. That's Minnie. That's Minnie. Go on over and say hello to her, California. Well, see, I think I better... No, no, come on. Well, go on, go on, from a minute to a whale. 
Here's your receipt, Mr. Cassidy. How did you know my name? Why, uh, that's what Mrs. Jordan called you. And uh, Mrs. Jordan's business with Mr. Fenwick is personal. So is mine. Hey. Glad to see you again. Goodbye. California! Wait a minute. Minnie, you're the picture of health. Ain't you going to put your hand on me? Well, er, uh, sure. All there. around. Both sides. Sure. There. Don't you think I've grown up? Yeah. And, uh, uh, Minnie, I've never seen you look so big. There's so good. Go on. Just take things easy. I'll be seeing you, Minnie. Trick worked, huh? Yes, it sure did. The girls are there now, and so is Cassidy. Oh, I don't see You how. get Sheriff Miles to deputize you and the boys. Get busy and enforce that writ. And run those squatters out of the country. All right. Since this cow hand insists upon not selling, why not consider doing the logging yourself? Me? Well, you have the timber and I need it. You cut it and I'll buy it. Mrs. Jordan doesn't know anything about the lumber business. Poppy, please. I'll advance you the funds to start operation immediately. And I'll supply with the best logging crew in the Sierras. Julie, you're not going to turn down this magnificent offer of Mr. Fenwick's, are you? I don't know what, what to say. Just say no. Look at that. These low-down land sharks are throwing helpless people out of their homes and saying your husband ordered it. Why, your husband spent a fortune on these parasites, fed and clothed them for years, couldn't get a lick of work out of them. They kept him land poor. That was his order. I wonder if they had anything to do with his death. Well, they'd stoop to anything for revenge. Julie, will you go look out that window? Please. Those people are dependent upon your decision. They may stay for a month. A month? California. Goodbye. I'd like to speak to Mrs. Jordan alone, please. Yes, sir. Julie, don't you realize what these... It's no use, Hoppy. My mind's made up. I'm doing what Ben would want me to do. But if he knew how badly you were doing it, he wouldn't be very pleased. That's unkind, Hoppy, and certainly uncalled for. I know it, Julie, but I... I thought it might bring you to your senses. You and the boys had better go back to the bar 20. <laughs> that sounds like an order. It is. All right, Julie. I hope you're right about this, Julie. Adios. Well? I guess I'm in the logging business. Congratulations, Mrs. Jordan. Oh, Julie, that's just grand. I think you made a very sound business decision. I just wanted to say goodbye, Miss Julie. Jimmy, wouldn't you like to stay here and work for me? No, not without Hoppy. Goodbye. Oh, God, what I'm trying to say is I, I hate to go without giving you... Yes, a California. Uh, uh, swat not. Oh, you silly old goat! Get out! Well, I think we might as well draw up these contracts now, Mrs. Jordan. Yeah. They are. Come on, boys. Thank 
you're going. Back home. This eviction notice says you squatters are heading the other way. Well, that's desert country. There ain't feed or even water. Good enough for you. We ain't going. What scum like you needs is a lesson you won't forget. <laughs> They're always making trouble. On your feet. Hey, you're interfering with the legal procedure. What's legal about it? That's rent. That thing's void. You better speak to the new owner. She's down the street with Kiefer. Give me that. What's your stake in this? I'm timber foreman for Dan Kiefer. My name's Taggart. Say, Hoppy, that fellow looks like the one I trailed the day of Julie's wedding. You sure? Well, pretty sure. Hey, wait a minute. I see you down in Nevada a couple of weeks ago. I've been out of these mountains in months. Money, your face looks kind of familiar. I'd have sworn I... Must have been two other guys. Maybe so, but one of them is dead. You're not in your country now, Cassidy. You're in mine. And if you're smart, you'll rattle your hawks out of it. Pronto. Hey, what's the idea of you and Keeper making a monkey out of me? The new owner gave him a 30-day extension. Now get out of here and leave him alone. All right, break it up. Break it up. Let him take her. Go, Hoppy. Why don't we grab him? What's the use? We can't prove that he killed Jordan. Well, I guess we've done all we could here. Taggart works for Kiefer. Kiefer works for Fenwick. So what? So we're not going. You know, Mr. Cassidy, you're speaking about young Jordan. Yeah? He's a mighty fine fella. Oh, he must have been. He's not a mean bone in his body. Last words he ever said to us was, now he could see his way clear to pay what the Jordans owed us so long. Did he ever say how he expected to pay it? He mentioned something about the railroad, didn't he, Joe? Yeah. He hoped to set a deal with the railroad to uh, cut and deliver ties. Contract with the railroad ties. Thirty-three thousand to be delivered to the date specified in that paragraph. And here's my check for the advance payment. Sign both copies, please. I guess this will show Hoppy is wrong. Come on, Jimmy, hurry up.
Jimmy Buck is the only one that can identify Taggart. Now, a lot depends on how quickly you get this note to him at the bar 20. All right, Hoppy. Well, I guess I'm wasting time here. Good luck to you. Thanks. Goodbye. Hurry back, Jimmy. Here comes the ball. Morning, boss. Is this all you've cut, Mr. Taggart? Well, it's always a little slow getting started. You'll just have to do better. Oh, we will. Now, don't you worry, Julie. Do I have to ask you again to call me Mrs. Jordan? Oh, I keep forgetting. We're just common folks in this neck of the woods, and we always call everybody by the first name. Besides, it ain't every crew of timber monkeys got a boss as pretty as you. Boys. Won't you please make an extra effort? Why, sure, Mr. Sure. Sure. sure, next time you show your pretty face around here, we'll have a pile of logs to the top of that tallest tree. Won't we, boys? Yes, sure. Sure. Well, get to work, then. Thank you, Mr. Taggart. Take it easy, boys. It's a long day. Two steps today. I got him. Well, two five. Oh, okay. Two five. Okay. Let's hurry. Get him out. Say, where's Taggart Rag? Oh, he's going to see where she's going. <laughs> <laughs> you on your way back to bar 20. Oh, California wanted to visit with some of his old friends. You mean those trespassing squatters? Julie, you don't seem to understand. You're the trespasser. Your husband owes these squatters, as you call them, a great deal of money. Even if you gave them all this property, it wouldn't square the debt. I don't believe it. You mean you don't want to believe it? They had faith in Ben, that's why they stuck by him. I had faith in him, too. I married him, didn't I? Yes, you did but apparently for your own selfish reasons. I'll never forgive you for that. Never. He trails that girl every move she makes. She's getting leery of setup. What'll you take to dispose of Cassidy? How? Pick a fight with him and shoot it out? Look what happened to Slade. 
It's worth a thousand to you. Money's no good if you don't live to spend it. You're not so bad with a gun. Why don't you try it yourself? Let's get back to town. Get out. Come on. Come on. Get out. Good hunting, Mr. Fenwick. Oh. Why, I thought that... You thought what? I thought it was shooting at a deer. You mean keepers declared open season on me. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Cassidy. You two must have a bigger stake in the Jordan property than I thought. You, 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 you wouldn't shoot me. Why not? Oh, please. Please, Mr. Cassidy. In case you ever get murder minded again, remember I let you live. Even though you're real 
Mr. Fenwick, I must have an extension on our contract. I can't get those ties out on time. Well, it's not too bad. That crew you gave me is deliberately slowing down work. My well, Taggart wouldn't do a thing like that. Give me more time or a new crew. Well, suppose we compromise. Under the circumstances, you couldn't get much for your land, but uh, I'll buy your timber right. I won't sell. You better read your contract. There's a forfeiture clause in there that you'll find rather expensive. If you don't deliver, you'll lose everything. You cheats. There she goes, straight to Cassidy. I don't think so. She has too much pride for that. Well, if that's the case, we're sitting pretty. Hartley! Hartley, where are you? What are you bellering about? Oh, California, you got to help me. Yeah, I know you get in trouble making eyes at that city slicker. He's the cause of it all. Get away from me, you false and fickle female. Hey. What's she done now? Oh, it's the contract. She just at her wit's end. She's well, even making threats. Where is she? She's gone to the lumber camp. Mrs. Williams, would you take care of her? Oh. Abby, please. Now you'll probably get hoppy kilt too. Oh, I feel faint. Faint? Catch me, California. Uh, oh. Oh. Why don't you do something, California? Well, what do you do when a lady well, faints? Put her feet higher than her head and go get a drink of water. Well, I'll get the water, but let her raise her own feet. Oh, I'll get her a drink. that fainted. Bad another wheel buckling like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't do any more work here until we get a new one. Might as well call today, boys. I've been trying to catch you with this. Oh, no. All right, if you're going to act like a man, I'll treat you later. <laughs> given to these people by the Jordans over a number of years. 
I know Ben would have been able to pay them off. But I guess I failed. You still have a chance. We're all lumberjacks and good ones, too. You bet. We can do the work if you let us. Yes, sir. Tell me what to do, Harvey. I'd like to discharge Taggett and his crew and organize a new one, if you'll give me the order. You have it. Good. I want you all to meet here the first thing in the morning. We dip the tops and roll the logs along. In this fight, you want far work to do. We do it well and do it with a song. We're the singing, fighting, king to Jews. We're on the side of the right, the right to be free. When timber wolves are on the prowl and coyote start to bay, we the logs begin to howl and chase the skunks away. We're the mighty fighting. Don't start anything till I find out what this is all about. What's the meaning of this? What are you doing here? I'm the new foreman and I'm taking over. Yeah, who said so? Mrs. Jordan, your ex-boss. Miss Jordan, huh? Well, I guess that lets me out. I say, there's no need of my men being out of work. Now, if you're short-handed... And... Take your men and get out of here. You're trespassing. This is private property. All right, Cassidy. You win this time, but I'm coming back, and then we'll see who's trespassing. Take it easy, men. We're going to town and investigate these new orders. All right, boys, let's get back to work. a short time. It looks like they're going to make that deadline. Then we better do something about it and do it quick. Well, if you give me a free hand, I think I know how to stop them. All right, Taggett. It's up to you now. Julie down now. Besides, I still think we have time to make it. Joe, let's get those logs off the hill over on the other side. Right. Some of you boys get the teams hooked up. All right, the rest of it, let's get to work. We got them all piled up. Good work, Joe. Now what? Have a couple of boys cut them loose. Right. Thank you. 
<laughs> Come on, let's go. It's a fine thing. And you're the one who knew how to stop them. Well, I've done everything I can think of. I don't know how they're sticking it out. Well, there's only one thing to do now. Go in there and clean them up. With you. Why? Sounds like Hoppy's in trouble. Where? Down where they're logging. We better get over there then.
I'll be ruined. Why, they can even indict me if those contracts in your safe are found. Oh, quit your beauty. What are you gonna do? This will stop him. Once and for all. That buckboard. You ever see that man before, Buck? Well, yes, that's the man who killed Julie's husband. Take it easy. Shooting's so good for him. Come on, get up on your feet. Remember, before the hang you, you're legally entitled to a chicken dinner. Ha! Ha! Come on. Keep your gun, Buck. There's my side. If these papers belong to Fenwick, I'm turning them over to you. Thanks, Hoppy. You know that fellow's complaining about not having clean linens in jail? <laughs> <laughs> Here are the trustees, made out to each of you for your homes and a share in the Jordan Timberlands. 
Oh, thank you so much, Miss Julie. And this new contract with the railroad for ties and right-of-ways needs only your signatures to make it binding. Everything we've worked for, all our lives. We owe it all to you, Mrs. Jordan. No, you don't. You owe it to Hoppy. That's right. Thank you. 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 Thank you.